Okay, Scott, so yep. US Open. Yep. What you got up your long sleeves today? The story of the US Open, it takes sort of normal courses, mm -hmm. uh, like courses that I could go play. Uh, I have a, I'm a pretty good golfer. I have, like a, I have like a 25 handicap, so I'm pretty good. Uh, and I could go play them and like get through them. Yeah. The US Open then gets onto that course and makes it more difficult. Okay. They bring in all the uh, all the fairways, they make the greens longer. Like sand and... Yeah, they make the sand harder to get out of. Okay. They like, they mess with it. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to do for this particular drink is I want I wanted to make a cocktail that's easy to make, yeah. but I wanted to make it difficult to make. So I'm going to make a gin and tonic. Cool? So uh, a gin and tonic is usually a two-step process. You take yeah. the gin and you put in the tonic. Yeah. I am going to do something different, all right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start off in my ISI whipper, my EC whipper <laughs> uh, right here. And we are going to start off uh, here. Uh, with this guy. This is, of course, uh, gin. This is yep. a gray whale gin. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to do with this is I want to make it ginnier. Uh, so as I make this, I want to make it, I want to bring out Frothier all the gin. Doesn't that make froth? Uh, well, I'll show you. So we're going to put in about a cup of this right here. We're just going to sort of eyeball this bad boy. A couple four. A couple four cups, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to re-botanicalize all of this stuff by using the ISI whipper and some dinitrous oxide. Mm -hmm. So uh, right here, I have cinchona bark. Cinchona bark is what real tonic is made out of. Okay, yeah. So when the, uh, when the British sailors used to sail around, they would show up in places with malaria. Uh, cinchona bark actually helps with malaria, ah. and the only way they could get these sailors to drink it yeah. was to add it to Ow. gin. Yeah, so that's course. where gin and tonics come from. Yep. Uh, we have just a little bit of uh, allspice mm -hmm. uh, right here. We're just going to put a touch of this in here. Always We're going to put favorite. Yeah, just a touch of salt. Yeah. Right here. Some coriander right here. Oh. We have lavender right here. And we have just a little bit of juniper. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pressurize this. So we're going to put this uh, guy right on here. Okay. Cool. And we're going to use one of these little guys. People probably recognize these from rock and roll shows containing... The Grateful Dead. This is basically a whippet or this is dinitrous oxide. This is laughing gas. Yes. That we're going to be infusing yes. this with. So we're going to squeeze that. Uh -huh. We're going to give it a big shake right uh -huh. here. Put this in the refrigerator. Yeah. For just a moment or two. Okay. Uh, right now. And then we're going to get the rest of the drink ready mm. whilst we do that. Mm -hmm. So we are going to squeeze. Fruit. Of course. Right? Uh, we could just use fruit juice. My we're trying to make this as difficult as possible. So we're going to squeeze uh, some of this uh, lime juice. Uh-huh. Right uh, position. Right there. For about half an ounce. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, we are then going to add a touch of quinine syrup. That's what tonic is originally made from. It comes out again since we make it with the you cinchona. Said this is what tonic is originally so made I, from. So I, I'm, I didn't say that I was going to be doing no steps twice. I tried to make this as difficult as possible to make the best possible cocktail. So this is actually being infused currently with that pressure with cinchona. Yeah. Now we're using just the basic quinine, which is the part that we go for. Now, if you were to drink this whole thing. Yeah you might end up blind. So let's pour in one half of an ounce what? of this. I'm just saying, Tammy, uh, you have to sort of know what you're doing when you make this. Quinine will make you go blind nine. So you just thought it'll be fun to put that in a cocktail. I will, I will take the first sip if you don't want to, but that is how this works. So we're gonna pull this guy out. Okay. Gonna give this another big fat shake. Mm -hmm. The recommended way to use this is uh, never use more than one uh, of these things. So we're gonna put two in to get all of this extra. You ready? Yeah. All right, right there. And now we are going to slowly leach this out. Now what? That's a whole lot of nothing, Scott. I know. There's, a a, whole lot there's of nothing. Hot nothing, air. Nothing will. It's actually very cold air, which uh. is kind of fun. You can see that it's actually boiling because of pressure, not because of heat. We're going to start off with a touch of mineral water, mm -hmm. not a soda water, but a mineral water, something that will keep its bubbles. We are then going to get this 
Out of here, you can see that kind of cool red color. Oh, there they go. We're gonna put in an agitator cube. Uh -huh. Then we are going to shake, uh -huh. rattle, and roll this. Uh -huh. We're gonna pour this guy straight in through here. We're now going to garnish this. Yes. With a long lemon. We're gonna squeeze this around so that it goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh -huh. Yeah, right here. That looks very nice. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I have uh, two more things. Give me one second. Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, no, it's not done yet. Okay, I got it. Okay. I had to go to my golf bag, grab a long tee. We're gonna put this right here. Yeah. And then we are going to add a little, oh, a little cherry. On cherry. Ah, and there it goes. We hit it and it falls to oh, the bottom. It's a hole in one. It's a hole in hole one. In we one. did it. So this is technically a gin and tonic. Uh, it has all the right flavors, all the right stuff. We have done everything we possibly can do to it to make it more difficult and I think uh, slightly more tasty. So why don't we try that? Let's do it. All right, I'm going in. Cheers. Did we call this anything? Gin and tonic, yeah. Oh, the US thought... Open gin and tonic. Well, okay. More the much more difficult. That. That is a more flavorful gin and freaking tonic. Yeah, it's a more flavorful gin and tonic. The juniper really comes yeah. out. Like, this yeah, is yeah. really Hit it yummy. hard with juniper. Yeah. Hit it yeah. hard with the quinine. The quinine. Quinine. I don't feel like I'm going blind. Oh, you wouldn't know until tomorrow. Oh. So, yeah. Great. Just Fantastic. kidding. You would know immediately. Yeah, well done. I'm going to grab this. Yeah, please. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thank you, Scott.